Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode. Uh, today I'll be doing an unboxing of, well, I think I've mentioned before the Amiibos uh, from Nintendo. So they just they came in a while ago, uh, a couple of days back, but I just haven't had a chance or the time to really get down to it and uh, putting this together. So uh, finally, I've finally had some time to scratch together a video so that I could share with you what it is that I've uh, purchased. Like I said, I started with. Um, two Amiibos in the past, so they've just been sitting there and I figured I've always wanted to start with the collector, collecting the Amiibo sets, but um, you know, just time hasn't been you know, on my side at the same time. Uh, I've been doing other things like collecting other, um, well, other statues and other, uh, other games that I've been wanting to collect also, so uh, that's some, a topic I also want to touch on later. But uh, what do you say we uh, start this? Uh, okay. So, as always, a trusty box opener. As you can see, the theme, Nintendo, here. And we'll see what we get today. Most of these that I purchased came from um, eBay. Uh, some came from Amazon. You just gotta, like I said, when you're looking for these, you wanna make sure that you're looking for something that's a bargain for you, you know? Uh, and for some collectors, like, there's no right or wrong way of doing, uh, or to collect, really. Uh, there's really nothing, no one can really tell you there's a specific way to, to, to be a collector. So when you do, uh, you just make sure that it's something that you enjoy, uh, but it's something that reflects you, okay? So if you enjoy it, who's to say you're doing it right or wrong, you know? Uh, but anywho, here we go. So the first one, this is something I've been really eager for. And here we go. The first one is a Samus uh, Amiibo. And I'm a huge fan of Metroid, okay? So uh, I think I have the ships around here, as you can see. I have, uh, what is it, Phazon Suit Samus in the back uh, also. Um, Love their game. Uh, one of the first the Metroid is when I played for the NES back. I believe that was 1987. Could be I could be wrong off the date there, and uh, it was a phenomenal game. It was the first game I believe one of the first to apply like Easter eggs, you know, uh, power ups that you really didn't have to get in order to finish the game if you were that good. But really, it was you just wanted to fish for new secrets, find secret rooms. Uh, you know, it was all about discovering. The next phase and in order to get to a certain point you needed to be this strong with this certain mobility and that's and so you went to look for that particular ability that allowed you to up you know go into that next level uh, till this day it stands to the test of time it's a great game to still play to this day people do speed runs you can watch it on youtube on on several channels you'll see them uh and it's a phenomenal game and one of the cool things about the game is that they give you two types of endings or several i think more than one I've only been able to see two endings personally when I when I finished it as a kid, and as uh, the one was at the end. I don't want to reveal too much of what happens. Just that, you know, her helmet comes off. You could you discover that that uh, Samus Aran, as a matter of fact, is a woman from the removal of the helmet. And then actually, at first, even then, you didn't know. Like, maybe it's a dude with long hair. For all we know, it, it was in the 80s after all. Uh, so you know, then when you really got to the game, like there was a certain requirement to get the additional where the entire suit comes off and you see that's a female human female you're like okay now you know you know you, you did right by the game you know you unlocked it so again this is gonna be good now whether i'm going to open the packages that i see here or not that's up to me and i think most likely i am if i'm going to if i'm going to really show this off i'm going to do it justice by opening it up and if down the road i do decide maybe to buy a second package and this is probably but probably not um it's something i want to display with ease you know so here we go. Samus Aran is the first. Let's go for number two. This one I opened because, uh, well, I didn't know at the time. It came ahead of time, ahead of schedule when I or when when it was ordered. I didn't expect it to be this this quick. I think uh, this particular one that I ordered came in. I didn't open it all the way, by the way. Uh, came in and uh, it it you know uh, just I think the next day or two days later, and it told me it was going to come in like a week later. So. It came as a surprise to me, so, you know, this is good news. But still, because I haven't opened all the way, a trusty box opener. And we'll check out and see what it is that we have. Ah, yes. Because we need to have a rival. Now, this is going to go against all this, but we need to have this because you couldn't... And growing up, you couldn't have Mario stand alone. You needed to have a rival. And here comes Sonic. Now, obviously, because this is Smash Brothers, and he made a great impression on Smash Brothers. But I think that was for the for the, uh, for the Wii, uh, one of the coolest characters. But for the Sega Genesis, when he first appeared, I remember this guy was a cool character. Um, 
definitely stood up against the Nintendo brand of characters that was, you know, that dominated at the time. And uh, this was something that was real cool, something that uh, we haven't seen a system do, which was speed runs. It was all about the speed. And the, and the maps, if you really played the map, if let's say with Mario, they're, this Sonic map, you realize the maps are actually huge. They're big. But because of his speed, that's where it balances out. So you, the length of time between a, a, a particular stage in, in, in Sonic versus a particular stage in Super Mario, they were, you know, give or take, they were about close, you know, close to the, to the same. But uh, they were very similar. But because, like I said, because of his speed, if you took away the speed factor of his character, you'd realize those maps were huge and they were well designed. So this was an awesome game. Uh, I used to, I guess, I was a faithful Nintendo uh, fan back in the day. Uh, but every now and then I would always sneak, sneak over to my friend's house and then eventually ended up getting a Sega Genesis myself and ended up playing the original Sonic games. Sonic 1, 2, and 3 with a... And they had another one, I think it was Sonic Lock-On Technology, where it was Sonic and Knuckles, I believe, and you attached the original uh, Sonic games on top of that to add on Knuckles to the, uh, to the events. But again, this was an okay. awesome find. So there you go, guys, Sonic. And we'll move on to the next trusty box cutter. One thing I worry about with, with these packages is that it arrives and something happens and maybe they're broken. So, you know, one of the surprises with ordering these things online, the reason I'm wearing this, Mario. You can't go wrong with him. I think you, I'm not sure if you'll see him, but he's holding my Nintendo 3DS there, the original one. Uh, this is definitely uh, a keep, you know. Uh, the mainstay of the reason why gaming, for me at least, as that experience was phenomenal. I started a long time ago playing the, um, I remember we had a Pong in the house. It was a very classic version of Pong. I believe that was in television that we had also. We also had in television. And also an Atari uh, 7800. Okay, when I was young. And that was a, I was a baby pretty much at the time. And they then when the Nintendo first came in, I remember this clearly as day. Put it this way. Imagine your, your parents. Okay, let's say your father. Let's put an example. You know, was trying to keep a surprise for you. Okay, for Christmas. This is how I discovered Nintendo. I come home from school one day. And instead of the man like packaging it, he unpacked it to see if it worked because he was a tendency. He, he had a tendency to, to see that, that what he bought actually worked. There was no manufacturer's defects or anything on the same day he bought it. But he got so hooked on it that when he forgot, he lost track of time. I got home and I saw my Christmas gift that year. So believe it or not, that was a good spoiler. And Mario was my first game, and it was phenomenal. This it, it was this and Gyro Might. I remember if any of you remember that game came with Rob. I had the whole deluxe set. Um, and this game really stood out for me. I mean, it was phenomenal. It was, it was captivating. It was such a simple concept of just running and jumping, and just you know, I guess, and, and if you want to add the stomping on turtles and creatures, it was a, it was an awesome uh, game in its day. It still continues to be a great game, a great title. Uh, and like I said, this, this is something I want to add to my collection. I'm going to put this as my centerpiece, well, as my center of my amiibo collection centerpiece. And uh, this, I, I look forward, like I said, to, to seeing what more um, Mario figures come out from Amiibo, if they're ready. All right, let's move on to the next. I did want to mention that uh, uh, before that, I want to do a, a tour of my collection, but again, my collection is a bit of a mess right now, only because there's a lot that I have and they're not quite organized for that kind of show. Most of them are, but there's a few out there that I need to you know, structure and like, you know, organize properly so I'm able to show off what I have. This is one of my favorite characters. This is, this is late in the Nintendo's life. Okay, NES, the 8-bit NES. It came out, um, but he was a phenomenal. He came out for Game Boy also. The most addicting little character. He was also a Smash Brothers character uh, in every single one, I believe. And, you know, most people will say he's the most adorable one, but really, he's the toughest guy. You know, in my group, my personal favorite character used in Smash Brothers. And that's Kirby. You can't beat this tough guy, okay? This ball of marshmallow <laughs> is one tough dude, you know? Um... And it was one of the games that I really enjoyed uh, growing up. And this is, I'm happy to have this as part of my collection. Thank you, Amiibo, and thank you, Nintendo, for creating this character. So, moving on to the next, and here we go. And it's Toon Link. And this is from Super Smash Bros. Uh, Toon Link. And from the uh, Wind Waker, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Most people didn't like that game in the beginning. I loved it. It was something original. I think it needed a break from the traditional Zelda that we were that we were used to because the N64 had the Ocarina of Time. Now let's be real about this. That was the ideal Zelda that we all wanted, and everybody wanted an updated version of that game. 
with you know high, high resolution graphics you know hd and so on the fact that they announced this game like they showed a picture of what i guess link would have looked like ocarina of time link would have looked like on the gamecube's graphic power and i, I remember i think it was an, i remember it was e3 ces i can't remember very well but i do remember that the fans were clamoring for such something like that and when they then i guess people felt hoodwinked because nintendo unveiled this character this link they were taken back. I loved it. It was a break from the old. It gave us something new, and it's something that I wanted to revisit. And it's, since it's part of the lineage, in a weird way, Nintendo kind of, I don't know if they're rectifying a mistake they made or they're trying to, I guess, add on to what they've created in lore. They created, he was part, he's a prequel. His story is supposed to be a prequel to a lot of things that have happened and a sequel to a lot of things that have already happened in the Zelda universe. You know, kind of confusing there, I know, but... Nintendo, what can, what can you say? I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed it. For some of you that uh, have played this, I hope you guys did enjoy this game, because I know I did. For those of you that probably didn't like it, uh, just keep your mind open to, to a possibility of this character coming around. He was, again, one of my favorites. But uh, yeah, I love that game, hands down. So, there you go. Good to have that in my collection. Next one. This one, I'm not too happy with the way it's packaged. So... Let's see how we open this. Because even I forget what I what I order sometimes. I'll order so far in advance. <laughs> it's like a, it, when these things arrive at my uh, doorstep, it's like Christmas morning for me. Yay. This is bad packaging, by the way, and very, very bad. Well, like I said, it's not damaged all the way, but here it is. It's a pipe from uh, Nintendo's Mario. Uh, enough to fit one amiibo here. Look from the looks of it. I guess I'll figure out if it's broken or not, but really, it doesn't. From this point, it looks mint. Like, it, nothing's come to it. No, no damage has come to this thing, so... There you go. Play for a good deal on this one, and, it's, I, and I got a good deal out of this one. And it's a stand. The Amiibo stand from Nintendo here. Uh, it can fit four, which is good for now. Um, if my As my collection grows, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I may have to purchase more of these. Or maybe get custom-made ones, who knows. You know, just so, just so they could stand out for me. Uh, these things are very well made and I love them. So this is, you, if you're going to have Amiibos and if you're going to take them out of the package, at the very least, get a stand for it or get a casing for it. Since I, I'm, I'm doing this because I'm, I plan on putting them in a showcase similar to this. Okay, so then they're not going to get dust or anything like, like this. And if you don't have a shelf like this, a closed shelf, glass, otherwise, then you want to get a sealed, ca a sealed casing so that it doesn't get damaged over time. Okay, you want to preserve it at least. There you go. Something to have in the collection. Okay. Hopefully none of you have experiencing this humidity like I am. It's been pretty bad. Oh, yes. All right, so for my next one here, and this is a big one because I plan on it. I plan on adding more. It's the display, a new display for my Amiibos also. It's buildable. It's a stackable display. Uh, this one is basically the end part of uh, Mario, original Mario game, where you'd have to jump all these... Uh, cube-like steps and at the end you have to jump from the tip jump to the pole and grab the flag okay and that would be the end of the level and this is it right here so it comes it, you can actually fit about five or six amiibos on this it all depending on how you stack them up how you, des how you desire to stack these up but anywho I'm happy to have this in my collection uh, yeah so that's, that's that's it for my collection here that I uh, showed off uh, yeah, it was a very fun thing I, I love to share this I have this for a reason. It's not like I have this just to keep it as a not only as a private collection, but I mean it's something you want to show. You know, you want to you want to be able to show it off. You want to come into an atmosphere that's just you know fun. It's relaxing. It's you know it's nostalgic. You know, it filled with good memories, and that's what it's about. Really? That's pretty much it, guys. If uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And as always, good gaming. I'll see you next time.